The plays of William Shakespeare have proven highly adaptable, surviving and thriving for more than four centuries. Audiences have seen the melancholy Dane relocated to a Canadian brewery in Strange Brew, and Macbeth's ambitious tale set against the backdrop of a fast food empire in Scotland, PA. In 1956, The Tempest was even jettisoned into outer space. Imagine yourself as one of the crew of this faster-than-light spaceship of the future. We are in our spacecraft. Marlene Montez plays the sexy science officer in the play Return to Forbidden Planet, which has out-of-galaxy departures taking off from the Carlsbad New Village Arts Theater through September 6th. Well, this is my ship. Welcome. Welcome. This is, um, this is my baby. This is, the, this is the ship I've been flying around space for many, many years. The cast, oh, I mean the crew, takes good care of the passengers, even instructing them in what to do in case of polarity reversal. Thank you for your attention. Enjoy your flight. Return to Forbidden Planet is a jukebox musical created by Bob Carlton in the 1980s. As with the 50s sci-fi film Forbidden Planet, it draws on Shakespeare's The Tempest for inspiration. Hi, cats. My name is Ariel. Beep, beep. I am the invention of the doctor, who took pains to make me speak. The play originally promoted itself as Shakespeare's forgotten rock and roll masterpiece. Goodness gracious! Great balls of fire! The play delivers a surprisingly fun mashup of the bard and rock and roll. They work so well together because Shakespeare was written for the masses, for everyone, and rock and roll also speaks to the masses, so I think that's why it's so relatable in such a weird way. With Shakespeare's poetry tapping into the essence of musical theater. When you burst out into song, it's because it's an elevated, like your emotion and speaking can't quite convey, so then people just randomly break out into song. This is her I think it's the same thing with Shakespeare, and it's like the text guides you to that place, and somehow it's kind of organic. So it makes perfect sense for the Prospero character to introduce himself by singing Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. Yes. These familiar songs help make sure that Shakespeare is better understood. People that don't understand Shakespeare or haven't been involved with it or, or they're afraid of it or they don't think they'll understand it or they're not interested, this, this gives them that taste of it and it makes them go, wait, I might actually really like to actually go see a Shakespeare play, go see The Tempest. You could say Return to Forbidden Planet serves as a gateway drug to the bard. Absolutely. You know, I read something, it said it was like Shakespeare on training wheels. So the show is kind of like a good introduction to Shakespeare. It's really fun because, because you are mixing all of this together and it, it's, it's exciting and, it, and it's amazing how well it works together. Shakespeare still fits today because you can do that. You, you can take these wonderful songs from the 60s and, and then put it with Shakespeare and it all mixes together really well. We call it Shakespeare. There's actually real dialogue from Shakespeare's plays. I think my character alone quotes 10 of Shakespeare's plays, but then they also kind of write the dialogue to change some things, so. Friends, crewmen, passengers, let me your ears. Captain Tempest welcomes you aboard this routine scientific survey flight. If you're in the mood for some rock and roll, as well as iambic pentameter in a zero gravity setting, then you need to book a flight to return to Forbidden Planet. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.